Today we are crossing some bridges. Hey friends, I'm so excited that you're back with me at the singing studio. Today we are going to be talking about our vocal bridge, and that is the bridge that is between our chest and our head voice. I'm sure a lot of you have experienced this. I know that I've experienced this, where I'll be singing a song and I'll get to the part of my voice where it kind of switches over to my upper register, but then I crack or I squeak. Yes, that is where our bridge is. And yes, it is natural to crack and squeak up there, but I will get into that more along with some goals um, that we should have as we are exercising our bridges. So like I just said, the bridge is what connects our lower register and our upper register. And it's sort of an awkward place because we'll crack or we'll squeak, but our goal with the bridge is to have a smooth and strengthened connection between the two. Sort of like a bridge that you would think that you would drive on. You don't wanna drive on a bridge or walk across a bridge that's crumbling or falling. No, we wanna have a good foundation. So these exercises today are going to help us strengthen and smooth that, smooth that bridge. And you know, these exercises are meant for you to practice at home. It takes time, it takes patience. Um, be sure as you are practicing these to take your time, drink lots of water, use that good breath support. Um, our bridges aren't going to be strengthened and smoothed um, all in one day. It, it takes practice. It takes constant um, repetition in these exercises in order to help strengthen that bridge and create a smooth connection. Before we dive into those exercises, let me just remind you that you need to have good breast support, be drinking that water, and really, really try and be relaxed as we do these exercises. Again, I know it's awkward. We're going to be squeaking and cracking up there in our, um, in our bridge, and that's okay. It's going to happen, um, but be sure um, to stay relaxed and not have any tension because tension is just going to make it um, harder for us to smooth and strengthen um, our bridge. So let's dive into these exercises. Um, I'm super excited. The first exercise that we are going to do are some octave siren slides. <laughs> so basically we're starting at one note, we're jumping up to the octave, and then we're sliding all the way down sort of like a siren. Um, and we're trying to have good breast support in this, especially when we're jumping up. Um, sometimes we can back off or sometimes we um, may shorten our breath um, because it is a big leap. But if anything, that should just encourage you to um, even focus more on that breath support. And make sure as we're sliding down to be nice and gentle. Don't force out the sound. We don't want any sort of strain. But we also want to make sure that we're allowing our voices to be open. Even if we crack um, or squeak a little bit, that's just part of um, strengthening that bridge. It, it'll feel kind of weird, especially as you're sliding through it. And that's okay. If anything, that should encourage you to even have more breath support as we're singing this. Here we go. Did you hear that squeak at the end? You know what? That's okay. If you squeak, if you have a little bit of a crack, again, don't feel ashamed. It's just part of the process. This next exercise is my absolute go-to bridge exercise. It's on one of my favorite vowels, a wee, <laughs> and we are doing some slides. 
Um, I know slides can be really uncomfortable, I understand, but that is how we strengthen our voice and how we get these muscles moving and used to going back and forth from our chest to our head voice and singing on the bridge. So let me demonstrate it for you and sort of give you a challenge as you practice this at home. We exercise is awesome because it really gets our um, you know chest voice it activates our chest voice it activates our head voice it's really wonderful but the most important thing is especially when we get up to our bridge and we have to slide through it um, we're forced to sort of switch our voice switches and um, it, it really just depends um, who we are where that flip happens um, but you could probably hear mine I tried to make it obvious um, where I flipped and my challenge to you is once you flip into that head voice Make sure to keep it. Okay, even if we're going down lower and um, It would be technically in our chest voice that we would sing a certain note try and keep it in that head voice Okay, um, because that's not only gonna strengthen our head voice, but it's gonna help our bridge smoothen out, you know, we're trying to slowly smooth this bridge so that we can have a nice connection and less um, squeaks and cracks. But anyway, so that is my challenge for you when you do this exercise. Keep it in your head voice once you flip. Think of it as like a one-way road. Once you flip, keep it there and really try and keep that vocal consistency and um, that good energy. So that is my challenge. In this final exercise, we will be singing la 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 la. And yes, I chose an ah vowel for this because ah is a very um, open vowel and especially when we're singing up higher and we're singing up in our bridge where we flip, it can be sort of uncomfortable and, and feel a little bit vulnerable to sing ah um, when we feel a little bit weaker in that bridge. So you can sing this exercise on an ooh or we, which are a little bit um, easier vowels to um, get your voice around and to sing up high. But I encourage you to gradually get up to that ah, the la 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 la. So um, something to keep in mind for this is to really have a nice and relaxed jaw. This is why I love this exercise because it helps me practice not being tense not having a tense jaw and just being relaxed and and just really enjoying the exercise and not um, feeling this oh la 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 so make sure that we are keeping it nice and relaxed so this is la 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 Um, weaker that's okay this is the point of these exercises we're trying to um, strengthen them so yeah um, make sure to have that good vocal consistency and have a relaxed jaw and that is all for our episode today be sure to check out the supplemental video that will have those exercises so that you can follow along at home thanks and have a great day I do these videos every other week but if you still want more musical theater, check out my newsletter. It's called Beyond the Score, and it just takes a closer look at musical theater history. You can find that at jskstories.com.